Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I know I haven't been on lately, but been busy with renovations. I haven't been uh, letting any of the radios, uh, the radio business, uh, haven't left that. I've picked up some very nice radios. Right now I'm at uh, 3XTS 5000s, uh, the two on this side, this one is the XTS 5000 in VHF. This one is an XTS 5000 and this one's a Q split. All of these radios are FPP. Uh, front panel programmable. And this is another XTS 5000 that's a VHF with a wideband. These radios here are going to be on eBay soon. Uh, both this one and that one have encryption modules in them, DES, OFB, and DES XL. Those encryption modules, you, you may see a few on eBay. And encryption hardware is one thing, but one thing that they neglect to tell you is you need to pay to have that encryption keyed in and active. These are mated to each other and the encryption is active. So if you need encrypt encryptive uh, well if you need encryptive uh, telecommunications those two would be great. These are all UHFR splits. I still have, I sold all the Wara series radios. Uh, I do have one VHF on eBay. I'm trying to get back into that. I've got a UHF Model 3 uh, that's in UHF, that's an R split. This is uh, VHF. So, up on this top tier here. Oh, by the way, I do have one more. XTS 5000 coming in. I should get it on Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest. It's going to be a Model 2 in VHF. I've got impressed chargers for all but three radios. One radio, I've got one 2500 that is being, it, it was a 1.5 and I'm having it converted uh, to a Model 3 with FPP. Firmware up firmware updates, uh, upgrades, and uh, new flash codes. So, every single one of these radios has uh, has rear tags. There's no hack job done on them. Uh, serial numbers, everything is solid on these radios. But the XTS 5000s I really like a lot. I really like the 2500s. This one is a Q split, yeah, Q split UHF. I believe that is that's a that's an 8 meg. This one is a UHF Q split that is a 4 meg. It's the only 4 meg I've got. Then I've got another one that is uh, VHF and then I've got two more that are VHFs. I've also got one that I'm having converted right now uh, for VHF so I'll have one more added to this and uh, they'll all be as you can tell you know the plastic still on the screen uh, I haven't screwed around or skimped when it comes to accessory uh, accessories impressed batteries all these are running lithium ion the model 2 that I'm getting in on Tuesday is going to be sent off and right now I've got uh, this is a model 3 this is what's going on the Model 2 that's going to be coming in. I've got another Model 2 
But at the same time, this came with uh, the vent sticker, which is kind of cool. They're hard. To, well, actually, they're impossible to get. Uh, I've tried to get one uh, for one fella, and they just won't do it because uh, Motorola is just <clears throat> that way. They're difficult to deal with. Anyway, yeah, the three uh, three five thousands, and they have four five thousands with FPP. I'll have uh, I'll have let's see, two of each. I'll have two VHFs. And then I'll have two UHFs, and they'll all be, as you can tell, they're all mint, mint condition. This one has a few scratches on the screen, just not really that noticeable, doesn't bother me at all. And shit like that normally would bother me, but it's so insignificant, unless you have, hold it up to direct light, it's really hard to tell. But, uh, these are actually... Our brother Connor, the RP called back and stated that the subjects that were having the bonfire are staggering around. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Uh, anyway, let me turn these down a bit. I don't need to turn them... Okay, we're on VHF on here. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I'll have four... I'll have two of each. Two UHFs and two VHFs. All will be mint. I've got all the parts. I've got all the uh, things for them. I've gone through Wiscom. A lot of people have been writing me about radios. I haven't had time to answer a lot of the questions just because I've been working till like, oh, you know, 6, 6.45 in the morning. And then I've got to be up at uh, 7.15. So you can kind of tell... Uh, Tell just by the timetable what I'm, uh, how much sleep I'm getting. These are very good antennas. They were originally made from Moto Turbos, but they got SMA connectors on them. And uh, they have GPS, they have non GPS. Wiscom is, good, is a good source for uh, antennas. A couple fellows asked me about those antennas. One thing I did did say, and I left you guys on the last video, saying, well, I don't know how these stubbies are going are gonna to hold up compared to a wide band. The stubbies don't hold up that well compared to a wide band. They will hold up fine, but uh, it's better to have the longer antennas. Yeah, you can get stubbies, but you're going to lose probably about two seconds of transmission of initial transmission with a stubby uh, unless you're uh, well it depends on where you are but I do have lithium-ion batteries for all of them I've got lithium-ion batteries these actually just have the impressed batteries I've got a couple non-impressed ones but they're brand new batteries so I don't worry about it uh, these all have brand new lithium-ions uh, they're all as you can tell here seven charges let's see how many charges two charges and seven charges and then I've got one that I just am in the process of uh, initializing so that's going to have two charges on it so all new lithium ion batteries for all the XTS 5000s so having four and then have and I've also got well once I get the model two in that's the five thousand I'll be sending it off but uh, I may keep it a couple days uh, just to kind of check it out and see how it works and then send it off for the conversion this is actually I'm keeping this holding this back uh, I've already ha I've uh, already got arranged for uh, a case for the Model 2 so I'm gonna hold on to this because you never know uh, at least I never know when I'm gonna run into another one and when I run into another one if it's ratty then I've got a brand new housing to swap it out in so 
everything's going to be right on these. These are uh, XTS 3000 Model 3's. They're all R-split. 403, 470. Uh, the two on, uh, the two that are black have DES, OFB, DES, XL encryption modules, dual encryption. Uh, one thing about these is you'll see a lot of units on eBay that say, yeah, it's got encryption, but one thing they don't tell you is you've got to pay to get that encryption keyed up. And fortunately, uh, I can get, well, fortunately, these are all, well, these two right here have dual encryption in them. So if bought as a pair, the encryption would be active, the keys would match, and you'd be set. These have ADP encryption. There's no hardware encryption in these. I really don't care. I don't really care that much about encryption. But at the same time, I know how much encryption costs. It's not cheap. And uh, encryption modules are good. But these 2500s are just killer. And I really, really, really like them. The, I do still have, I've got, a, this VHF is up for sale on eBay. It's missing a pixel. I don't even know if you can see it. Here, maybe you can. One dot, and I think, I think the dot is, shit, which one? Okay, sorry. Unprogrammed. I can't see the dot, but, you know, as you can tell, it's a great display. And I think the dot is somewhere on this. All these are little dots called pixels. I've got one little dot that's out, but as you can see, the pixels doesn't make any kind of uh, difference in readability. I mean, unless you're a complete... Uh, you know, well, I won't say it, but uh, unless you really, really have uh, a problem seeing uh, seeing the dots, you should be able to. But at the same time, when I got this radio in, uh, I didn't notice it until I had it a while. But brand new LCDs on those. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've got stubbies. And I've got I've got both stubbies, and then I've got the long versions of them. Uh, a couple of people have asked me about uh, the numbers on these. PMAD4068C, I believe that's UHF. I could be wrong. Go to Wiscom. Go to Wiscom and check it out. Uh, what is this? this let me. Yeah, that's a VHF. Okay, so I would go with a longer antenna because you will get a lot more signal pull. Uh, all rear tags are intact. I do have a lot of wideband antennas, and I've got even more than you see here. Uh, the FDNY knobs have been discontinued, so they will not be making any more. These are my spares, and as you can tell, invariably, sometimes that bat will come off when you pull the knob off. Leave it on and get a new insert. It's the best thing you could do. Uh, it's no big deal. These, you know, take these and throw them as far as you can because they're shit. You know, if you want a good uh, dust cover, Spend a little bit more and get a good dust cover. These are my FDNY knobs and my parts kits for this is the actual seal uh, seal cover assembly. That's the model number. Go to Wiscom, they've got them. The FDNY knobs, I've got quite a few of them. And I've got the inserts sorted labels. I've got a lot more parts than this, but 
about 15 XDS 3000s that are going to be selling within the next few weeks. They're going to be on eBay. Whether they sell right away, uh, you know, I'd like for them to sell quick, but if they don't, I'm not, I'm not desperate to sell them right now. The worst thing you can do when you're on, when you put up a listing, is to be desperate. <laughs> and that's one thing I've tried to avoid. So, when they sell, they will sell. And when they do, I've got Model 1s that also have the dual encryption that are mated to these. So, I've got two of these in yellow. These are brand new housings. Never fielded. All of them have the FDNY knobs on them. Anyway, yeah, I've got... Right now, I've got... I'll, I'll have four... Uh, XTS 5000s, two in VHF, two in UHF. I'll have a spare case, the Model 2 that's coming. I'm going to send off. I'm going to have it, uh, have it, the firmware upgraded, like I said. Firmware upgrade, uh, flash. I'm going to have a new keypad because Model 2s need a new keypad. Uh, then I'm going to have a flash for FPP. So, that'll give me four really, really killer uh, XTS 5000s. All these are FPP. I've also got one that's being worked on right now, so now that'll give me... That one's a, U, is a VHF. So I will have four VHFs and two UHFs. I just pulled the trigger on another one tonight, and that's a VHF. With, with FPP and a very, very, very killer flash code. Whether that materializes or not, uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if I trust the guy very much. So, I've had a couple deals fall through on uh, radios. So it's kind of iffy sometimes. But, yeah, these radios are very, very good radios. I, I'm sold on them. I mean, I just sold on them. And by the way, I am going to be selling these. Uh, they're not going to be cheap by any means. They're going to be priced uh, priced well, and they're going to be priced realistically. The ones that you don't see that aren't that this one has the intrinsically safe dot. Well, the housings have been switched. So what I believe all but like all but maybe two are not intrinsically safe. So, you know, I mean, it's not like it's that big of a deal. Anyway, these stubby antennas, this is a short version. They're very good. What you do is you go to Wiscom, you look up Moto Turbo, and uh, you type in GPS antennas, and it will take you, take you to where you need. You'll need, or you'll want to pick up this uh, adapter for a mic. These things really make a difference. These have the new paddle, the new paddle push to talk. The other ones, uh, let me see, where can I find that other one? Could have sworn I had another one that was a button. Maybe, maybe that was on a different radio. No. Here we, yeah, I was, okay. That was on a model 1.5. So they've all got the paddle, paddle push to talks. I do like the 5000s better than the, better than the 2500s, but the 2500s, the, really there are just so many little differences. It's very, very small. Uh, you know, you can't use a channel selective uh, remote speaker mic because it just doesn't work on 2500s. Uh, it's just one of those deals. But it's a trade-off, you know, it's a trade-off. The XTS 5000s are bigger, but I like that design better. So, you know, I mean, it's all in, it's all in what you can afford and what you want. But, yeah, I've got, out of the, let's see, one, two, out of the five you see here, I've got another one 
that uh, I'm getting converted right now and uh, it's going to be in VHF and then I've got another one that will be coming possibly, I'm not going to make any guarantees on that uh, that's going to be a uh, VHF with FPP so yeah, it's, things, are, things are working great, I hope you guys are doing alright uh, I haven't made a video in ages and I thought well, you know, I've got a chance to breathe now, I might as well go ahead and throw in a video. These lithium ion batteries are the cat's ass. They're the batteries you want. Uh, the volume on the XTS 5000s are the volumes a little louder than on the 2500s. That's another trade-off. But you price uh, you go and you price and you look and uh, I don't know, it's all in what you want but yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right now I've got a lot of parts, I've got a lot of radios, I've got I think 15 uh, 15 XTS 3000's and those are going to be going out the door with, within a month uh, they're going to at least be listed and I'm in no hurry to, hurry to sell them I've got five that are in VHF, and then I've got uh, the rest that are in UHF. So, you know, I mean, I've got quite a few radios in the 3000 series. I do like the yellow, uh, the fire yellow, and the fire department does like these too. You know, it's a beautiful radio. But, yeah, to get, to get, uh, to wind up getting four and having just three right now, XTS 5000s with FPP in as wicked shape as these are in. These two are in new, these two are new. This one is used, but it's very very lightly used. There's no there's no uh, there's not a mark on it. The screen just has a couple hairline hairline scuffs on it not much not bad anyway guys take it easy that's really all the time i got but uh, i hope i can find another uh, xcs 5000 and uh if i can it'd be great to have five of them but just to have four of them is cool with me i mean you know three of them is cool with me one of them was magnificent so you know i'm i'm feeling pretty good about it but yeah the the 2500s weren't cheap at all. The upgrades weren't cheap and the conversion wasn't cheap, but they're well worth it. They're fantastic radios. As are these, as are all of them. Uh, the War series, they're still very, very nice radios. And you know, they're not they're not they're not digital, and that's the problem. Uh, I want digital and I want APCO P25 and I just think it's time to move to, to XDS's. That doesn't mean I'm going to quit selling MTS 2000's. I've actually got a Model 3 in VHF that has a killer flash code. I just had it jam-packed. Uh, all of these have been bench tested. They've been aligned and uh, they're, they all have legit tags. So yeah that's pretty much what I've got right now uh, in the way of the FPP models so you know one two three four five six and then four geez do I got that many one two three four five six well six and then four XTS five thousands plus the one that is on the way that is a 2500 in VHF man a lot of radios with FPP but yeah XTS 2500s are a very good deal they're a very good buy and they're very good radios anyway guys take it easy later on I uh, hope you're all doing well leave a comment if you want and uh, that's pretty much it yeah if you want to go uh, if you're looking for the for the antennas like like you see here go to Wiscom 
If you're going to get a stubby, make sure it's going to be within the bandwidth that you need. Uh, wide bands cover the spectrum. Wide bands are hard to beat. In fact, wide bands are just exceptional. The only problem is you've got longer, uh, longer antennas to deal with, and it can, you know, get you in the armpit if you're bending over, but uh, leaning down to grab something or something, it'll poke you. But uh, you know, no big deal. I mean, you know, it does what it's supposed to do, and these wideband antennas are great. But this one, I just have the regular whip on it, and I do have UHF. Uh, UHF versions of those, which, you know, are the Moto Turbo style. Anyway, the GPS Moto Turbo style. Anyway, guys, take it easy, and later on, 